My name is Kellen Davis. I teach math at North Davis Junior High. My family is all businessmen. My father's a business professor. All my brothers have gone into business, so I was kind of toting the family line. And so when it came time to go to college, I started studying business, and I worked my way through college by running my own insurance agency. My wife's family were all educators. And so as I associated with them and got a glimpse of the education world, I realized I could be a teacher, that this thing that I was always kind of interested in wasn't an outright foolish choice. In high school, I was not a particularly great math student. And then I ended up in college, and I realized as I was studying math that it wasn't math that I didn't like. It was math class that I didn't like. And since I was interested in teaching, maybe I could find a way to teach math in a way that could help students connect with math and not have it be a subject that is a struggle or, or boring to them. I started out with a very strong uh, teaching philosophy. I knew what kind of teacher I wanted to be and I worked very hard to achieve those goals. And I won an award for the way that I was teaching. And I was very tech-centered in the classroom and it was very individualized and students were working at their own pace. But they were not people. I was so focused on integrating technology in the classroom that I forgot to integrate the students in the classroom. And I wasn't successful as far as seeing students learn and seeing students be inspired in the classroom. A few years ago, I was co-teaching with a special education teacher. And she came up to me at the end of class one day. This was back before I transformed my practice. And she said, your class is boring. We do the same thing every single day. And then she left the room. As I was evaluating my practices and trying to become better, I was really inspired by the work that my wife was doing. She teaches first grade, and when I started stealing from her, I was able to have my students be more engaged. Because if you can engage a six-year-old, you can engage anyone. So I do my best to be an elementary school teacher in a junior high learning environment. People like to move, they like to talk, they like to interact, they like to play, and none of those things naturally take away from learning. We can create environments where play helps people learn. So I have eight different seating arrangements that we use in the classroom, and every day we use at least three. And I could target different types of learners by having them work together differently. By mixing up the way my room is arranged, it helps me as a teacher mix up how my students interact with each other. And it's not about covering content, it's about learning. Learning requires us to interact. When we interact with other people, explain our ideas, listen to their ideas, maybe debate a little bit, the knowledge that we gain is much deeper and lasts much longer. I play music almost nonstop throughout the classroom. And the music goes from loud, upbeat music to soft, quiet music. But I think music helps set the mood. And when we can frame the learning environment around the type of activity we want, we maximize our opportunities to grow. In fact, this whole idea of um, of, of music. For example, when I'm playing the music, I allow the students to, to suggest songs. And I have to listen to them, and I have to make sure they're school appropriate, and they are. And we listen to the music together, and there's some strength in that togetherness. Instead of kneeling down a, a, with the student or bending over, I like to pull the student up to the whiteboard so we can see the work equally and evenly. It helps that I'm the exact same height as the student, but we can both look at the whiteboard and talk together as we're solving the math. If I'm going to talk to a student, I'm going to use language and words that are, express our equality. One of the best compliments I've ever received in the classroom from my students is they say, you talk to us like we're alive. You talk to us, you talk to me like I'm a person. So I look them in the eye. I say their name. We have conversations about things that are important to them. And because I respect what's important to them, they respect what's important to me, which is learning sincere effort and a desire to help other people become better also. It's really sad that some kids walk through the day without feeling like anyone loves them. And in my own small way, in my own world I get to create, I get to love everyone that walks through that door. And I get to tell them that. And it's weird. And they go, why, why, is, why is Mr. Davis crying and telling us how much he cares about us? But in the respecting their humanity, in talking about them as a person, we find a way to relate to each other, to maximize learning, and to maximize the influence I can have. I don't tell people I teach math. I tell people I teach 13-year-olds. And I think there's a very important distinction between those two sentences. Because it's not the content 
I accomplish all of my content dreams and goals. It's the transformation of the person and being able to see this person master content. That's what matters in my room. I'm Kellen Davis and I teach.